Okay, here we go again. We've part 11 of... Oops. Sorry, my voice was going in. Part 11! Part 11 is my Sims 2 playthrough. Oh, let me tell you this, Pop, because... Things are gonna get heavy. As you may be able to tell from the uh, the bottom of the screen there, um, there's Xanadu and there's Zunder. They are now teams. What I did was, like I said, I turned the aging back on. But I was thinking, that's not going to be fast enough. I need to get them so that basically they grow up fast. Did a little googling. And if I just go upstairs, oh, there they are. We'll take a look at errors too in a moment. In a moment, this little doll <coughs> is uh, what I used to well cheat basically. Uh, what you can do, you can. Set the age of Sims. Uh, you can set their motives of either me or other Sims uh, on the lot. Uh, you can influence, turn them into vampires, uh, fiddle with the relationships, and other stuff like that. So, yeah, that's basically the little fella there. That's uh, oh, basically, we need to get rid of that uh, potting because they also don't need it. Uh, this is why, as you can see there, there are two single beds, and here they are. Here are my lovely children, all grown up into teenagers. Already, that was pretty quick. But the thing was, I just, uh, I didn't really want to like, mess about too much. Um, sort of like, growing them up and... Whatever it, it, it really is, I mean, it, it's not the kind of uh, how can I put it? not the kind of game I like to play. It's a bit too much hassle. Sonny keeps calling me over to go out for dates and to do this, that, the other. What I've decided to do is basically make a little family out of this. Uh, well, I'm gonna, well, what I did do, and like I say, the icons disappeared, was, I mean, uh, Sunny hasn't done come out, but I've just greeted her. What I'm going to do now, oh, that's right, yeah. Now I can either propose, oh wait, I can either propose moving or engagement, but not sleep over. So was that what he did? I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, because I have got good chemistry with uh, with Sonny, uh, we've got two two bolts of chemistry there. Um, I am going to propose that she moves in. I am taking that next step in our relationship. Um, so, what do I need to do? Unpause. There we go. He's, uh, he's gonna... Oh, do a cuddle. Pop the question. Uh, is something happening? Oh, oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Sonny is moving in with 1,000 simoleons. Wow. Uh, like that. Xanadu did that. Uh, oh, hello. And so there we go. We have uh, taken our relationship to the next stage. Well, as you can see, Xander's in my bedroom. Um, and what he, will, what he and Xanadu have done before is slept in my bed. Because you can't... This was the one problem that kind of bugged me a little bit about The Sims, is the fact you couldn't designate 
certain things to Sims. Like, I couldn't say, like, this is my bed, it's only my bed, nobody else can sleep in it. And the same with that one, that's Zandu bed, that's Zandu bed, that's your bed, do you sleep in there? But you can't do that, that's one thing that kind of bugged me, I'd like say. Where are you going? Hello? Oh, they're gonna play catch. Oh, come on, you could have played catch over by the tree there. There's plenty of room. Which, funnily enough, is what I was just about to say. What I think I might do now. Um, actually, I don't think I will. I was just, I was gonna say, I think I'll. Uh, Move into a bigger property and blah blah blah. No, no, I don't think I will. Uh, I think what I will do is work on getting the kids into college and basically into university. I know I said I wouldn't cheat before, you know, but, uh, but the thing is, if I'm going to be like con controlling four people now. Or should I say, two people and two aliens. Uh, I I, the only cheats I've used is to age them up and to stop the aging. I oh, admittedly, you know, I did uh, use the money cheat a little bit. Actually, I haven't got a job at the moment because uh, what happened was. I got to the top of the, uh, actually that's a thought, because I got to the top of the, uh, the career, I should have the reward, or will I? Ah, yes, there it is. The Executor. Um, I used to have the one for the top of the gaming career, which was, 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 was that, the pinball machine where, as you played it, you would keep winning like, lots of five simoleons or something, and you could probably earn a, a few hundred simoleons, or a couple of hundred at, at least, just playing the game, depending on your fun level. I think if your fun level was like right at the bottom, you would just continuously play, you would keep earning five simoleons until or the fun meter was filled or you could win now more simoleons, I don't know. Oh, Sonny has gained into his own souls. Actually, let's have a look at Sonny. As in, let us have a look at, uh, at her stats and stuff because obviously I didn't know anything like that much about it because she was just kind of my girlfriend before, you know. No, actually, so she still is my girlfriend technically, yeah. Well, not mine, but my, my, my sim's girlfriend. Uh, right, so let's see. Um, what was that? Scored another, scored another point, okay. Right, her aspiration meter. Um, Oh, her aspiration level is solid provider. Okay. Uh, Sonny's lifetime want is become captain hero. <laughs> right. Uh, my sim's aspiration is to become a master criminal. Sonny's is to become captain hero. If that's not complete opposites, I don't know what is. I mean, she basically wants to get to the top of the law enforcement career, whereas Mousy wants to become the top of the criminal career. Uh, lifetime aspiration. Moving on up. Da, 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 da. Now secondary aspiration level. Okay. And her influence meter. Oh, she's a powerful persuader! <laughs> you know, she needs four more friends to attain the next influence level. Does that mean she's sloppy or does that mean she's neat? I don't know. 
Okay, so there's the activity. Oh, actually. Oh, what's this? You've discovered a previously unknown star. Oh, okay. Uh, that's why she's a cancer. Capricorns and Cancers are a match. Um, the Sim Bio. Oh, she doesn't love Bio. Reputation. Ah, oh, amicable acquaintance. Hmm, Sims can develop their reputation based on their activities in the community locked with the members of the neighborhood. To increase reputations, have your sim perform friendly socials while unfriendly socials run. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Uh, does she have anything in the inventory? Wow, hello. She has got all the Renew You Porta Chug. Two of those, okay. Uh, a shocking thing from England. The Grand Parlour Chess Table. A rug. <laughs> a recalling rug. Ooh, the game the console rug. I've got one of those. Uh, a boost of tol what's that? Tolipoda. Tolipoda. Uh, why has she got three pianos? And actually, um, are one of those mine? <laughs> um, she's got a Groove Layer 9000 Professional DJ booth. Why does she have one of those? Uh, what's this? Oh, those are the aspiration rewards that you can choose. Career rewards. Now, uh, I don't know what that's for. Crafting table, star truck. Yeah, that would. No, that, those wouldn't be. Uh, the Doctor Who's automatic cosmetic server, resurrection, the pinball. Mm, I mean, if, if she is top of the. Um, Top of the culinary career, she should. Ah, there it is. The Chocolade 890 Chocolate Manufacturing Facility. She needs to be for my children. <laughs> if she's going to be her their uh, new mother, in fact, they've never had a mother because uh, they've been aliens and. Uh, they were inserted by probe. That's it. I will leave it there. I will say no more. Uh, you, you're all caught up with everything I'm doing at the moment. Uh, we, we have go jug jug jug. <laughs> I don't know what's going to slow. Uh, but anyway, we have a. Almost happy little family now, and uh, so for now, I shall bid you adieu. Obviously, I'm gonna, you know, keep on uh, keep on playing for a while and uh, get things uh, done. Sorted and whatever. Oh, it was on the computer. Ah. And so, uh, yeah. If you've <laughs> if you've suffered this to the end, I thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate every viewer that uh, that watches my videos. Um, and I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye!